Where's your helmet? Oh, he's got the coffee. He's got the referee shirt. <laughs> he's got a referee shirt. <laughs> Today we're doing a 2011 Zero Turn More Challenge. We have two John Deere's, a Skag, and a Bad Boy. However, today is a solemn day. It's the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 tragedy. So with respect, we thank everybody for their sacrifices, and we pray for all those that were affected by the 9-11 tragedy. Stick around. Here we go. Got to get over there and get over here. All right. And then you gotta say, hold on, we gotta wait for Mickey to come. All right. Oh. Gentlemen, start your engines! Nine seven. Thirty-five, nine seven. Up next we'll have the John Deere Z five forty R. Tyler operating. And how are you feeling about the run today? Are you a little nervous, you're, but I think we got her. I think if you do. Run jitters out, we'll be all good. Indeed, I like it. Tyler with the odd strategy of wasting energy and time. We'll see how it plays. A 35.97, yes sir. I'm gonna give you a three, two, one, go. Whistle or no whistle? No whistle. In three, two, one, go. Thirty-one eighty-one. All right, now up next is Nick on the Skag sixty-one. Skag sixty-one. We're gonna do three, two, one, and go. In three, two, one, go. We got a 4778 on the Skag 61. Not one for speed, but we'll like that in a future event. All right, and we got Rob on the Z540M. One of the favorites. We're gonna like him. We're gonna give you a three, two, one, and go. In three, two, one, go.
He took that wide. Yeah. He was wide on that turn three. Let's see how that plays out. Got a 35-47. 35-47. All right, first we got Dave on the big dog. And he's on his way. He's a little afraid. We got a 17-7-8 on the bad boy. And next up we got Tyler on the John Deere. And he's on his way. The home course for Tyler. We got a 1631, 1631 fast time, fast time. All right, we got Nick on the skag, and Nick is on course. Slow and steady. Yeah, non-traditional, non-traditional spins here. Nick looks confident. Twenty-five, five, three, two, five, five, three. We got the second John Deere, wrapping it up. Side hill challenge. And go! Got an 1840-1840. I think age played into that one. All right, first up on the circle channel is the circle challenge is the bad boy. We got a clean circle. We've got a clean circle. All right, I got Tyler on the Z540R. All right, your deck starts the alarm or starts the top stopwatch. 1172. We got 1172. That's clean. That's a good circle. No, you guys can cut a hell of a circle. Very proud. All right, we got the Skag 61 coming into the Circle Challenge. Ten, three, two. The Skag comes in. Holy! Oh, holy cats! Holy cats! I do believe we have a little bit extra on the edges, but a hell of a time. This is not a scientific uh, challenge of any lawnmowers. <laughs> for entertainment purposes only, please do not use this for your decision on what lawnmower to buy. Eight oh six. Oh, and he will put these nuts on your. I missed a tiny bit there. <laughs> Oh, you guys go put your in the, on the I'm street. Done, You're done. Sell them. So, so I got, got one win. win. Did I get a win or two yeah. win? No, that's the win. You can't even. Rob, go home. Cut. Best time. Best no rip up. Well, go home. You're done. Uh, yeah. I'm out. Michelle, pack up. We're going. Right, that's gonna do it for this episode of What's Next Garage. 2021 Zero Turn Lawnmower Competition. We have a 2014 Bad Boy, two 2020 John Deere, and one 1998 Skag. So we found some discrepancies. We had two John Deeres take it, the actual John Deere. What model you got? Uh, it's a 540R, the top of the line residential mower. Best, must, best uh, residential mower money can buy. So it actually has larger tires, which give it a lot better surface contact. We did notice that. The 540M and the Bad Boy ZT Elite were on pretty comparable ground. The tires, everything was pretty comparable. 
And then the Skag is in a class all on its own. That's a commercial machine. Uh, maybe not exactly right for this competition, but football fields would have done it. Darn nice to have it here. So again, we all bow our heads in silence on this uh, 20th anniversary of the 9-11 tragedy. Our hearts go out to everybody that was affected and everybody that's still affected. God bless America and the USA. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. America.